What's your plan B? In other words, what are you going to do besides being a rideshare driver? In this video, I'm going to share with you what one of our drivers, a rideshare guy, uh, reader and viewer of our videos, what he's doing for his plan B. What he's doing is he has become a notary signing agent. And in this video, I'm going to share with you what that is, the kind of money you can make doing it, and stick around. At the end of the video, I'm going to share with you how you can get started doing that as well. Hey everybody, it's Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy, and today we're going to talk about a driver named Nathan. Nathan and I first crossed paths when he got a citation for doing some advertising on his car at the San Francisco airport, and we wrote an article about that. Um, so I interviewed Nathan, and, and we talked, and then I told him uh, when the article was going to go live, and he said, hey, you ought to check out this thing I'm doing. I became a notary signing agent. I said, well, what, what's that? What's a notary signing agent? So let's jump right in. So let's start off with what is a notary public? So that's the person who, let's say, for example, you have a will and you want to get it notarized. That means it's like makes it a legal document, a valid legal document. So there's somebody named a notary public who is going to uh, verify your identification, um, may get your thumbprint, uh, get you to sign it. Um, watch you sign the document and then stamp it, stamp a document uh, with his, his, his number on it and his seal, and that makes it legal. So now, in order to become a notary public, you have to go through some training. Uh, it takes about six hours to go through a course. Um, you can either do it online or you can actually go to a physical place and be taught. And then you have to take a test and you have to pass the test. I think you have to get 70% of the test accurate. And then you got to wait a while. Then you're going to be sent um, some, uh, some documents. And then you got to, once you get your document, then you got to get some more documents. And then you got to go to uh, uh, downtown to a federal building. And you got to take an oath. And then after all that's done, you have become a notary. Now the thing is that as a notary public, for that example I just gave you, you get paid $15. So you're thinking to yourself, well, that doesn't sound like a lot of money. So a notary signing agent is somebody who does the exact same thing, but they do it with real estate transactions. And instead of making $15, you can make up to $150, $175 per signing. So that's probably got a lot of you thinking, thinking some numbers in there. What if I could do three, four, or five of those a day? Well, what got me interested was Nathan said that he had a day where he went out and he did eight of them and he made over a thousand dollars in one day. So suddenly this became a very interesting and uh, lucrative uh, possibility as an alternative to driving, or you can, you can uh, drive and do the notary thing, right? Especially as you're building your notary business. So what's the earnings potential? Well, Let's say you can get uh, $150 a transaction. Now it takes time to build that up and I'm gonna cover that in a second. But let's say you can get 150 and you could do four of those a day. That's 600 a day. Let's say you worked five days a week. That's 600 times five, that's $300. That's $3,000 in a week. And if you worked 50 weeks, that's gonna be about $150,000 a year. Is it worth building your business uh, to get to that point? Well. Nathan has been able to get to that point in about 18 months. So he's making ten to twelve thousand uh, dollars per month and he's been doing it for about 18 months now. So if he can do it, can you do it? Yeah, it takes time. This isn't going to be like going down to Uber and getting your car signed up and you can start driving in two days. Um, you need to uh, sign up for a course, take the course, take the test. Then you could wait um, anywhere from four to 10 weeks before you get your commission. They do a background check, they do a whole bunch of other things. Once you get your commission, then you gotta, then you gotta get another thing and it can take another week or two. Then you gotta really get trained so that you know what you're doing. Um, I estimate that will take another month. So we're at anywhere from 10, let's say four to 10 uh, weeks, so let's say two months and then another month, three months. So you're looking at three to four months before you can actually start working. And then it's gonna take uh, about a year 
realistically to kind of build your business up to that level. But the beautiful thing is you can drive for Uber and Lyft in between your signings and, and, and not skip a beat. And that's exactly what Nathan did in his first year. Only now is Nathan doing the signing 100% and he doesn't do any Uber or Lyft driving. So that's why this is a beautiful kind of a plan B. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, how do I get, how do I get customers? Well, there are businesses like Uber and Lyft that assign uh, signings. So one's called Snap Docs and one is called uh, Notary Resume. And what they both do is they, uh, assign, uh, they assign signings. So in other words, a title company wants a signing done tomorrow at eight in the morning, they put out a ping and whoever's interested answers the ping and then uh, the title company can make a selection as to who they want to come in and then that person comes in. So Nathan's recommendation is that you sign up for all these services and take everything you can possibly get and that's how you're going to get better at what you're doing. Once you're good at it and you really know what you're doing, then you're gonna to want to approach title companies and real estate uh, professionals and work directly with them. Once you start working directly with the professionals, that's when you're making the big money, the big $150 um, signings. When you work with the Snap Docs or the Notary Resume, they're gonna take a chunk. So you may only make $75 to $100 per signing. So I promised you, how do you get started? NNA, NNA, National Notary Association. Look them up on the internet and that's how you're gonna get started because that's how, where you're gonna sign up to take your first course. So go to the NNA, call the number and talk to somebody there. They'll be happy to answer your questions and get you hooked up. Key takeaways here, this is a pretty darn good thing. Plan, this is a great plan B, becoming a notary uh, signing agent. So check it out. If uh, you're looking for a plan B, you don't have anything in the works yet. Uh, if the idea of driving around the Bay Area and meeting with real estate professionals and uh, you're detail oriented, this might be something that's excellent for you. Uh, we have uh, uh, a guy who's done it, so it's not like this pie in the sky big idea. Um, it's a very legit business. There are 10,000 transactions per month in the, in the San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm sure where you live, if you're in a major metropolitan area, there are uh, thousands of transactions happening. And each one of those uh, wi uh, uh, refis, uh, homes being sold, homes being bought, uh, people, you know, refinancing their homes. These are all transactions that need uh, a notary uh, signing agent. So check it out if that's something you think you might want to do. So hey everybody, this is Jay Crater with The Rideshare Guy. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a, give it a thumbs up. And uh, by all means, uh, subscribe. Uh, if you want the latest news uh, about uh, rideshare, the rideshare industry, uh, we've got it here. We put out three to four to five videos every single week, and we'd love to have you as part of the team. Y'all go out and have a great day. Be safe out there.